Oh shit. <clears throat> Welcome to a new YouTube video on my fucking epic gaming video channel. Today's a special one because today we're going to talk about something that I fucking love. Video games. Especially we're going to talk about a game called Smash Bros. Uh, on stream the other day I was talking uh, with the Twitch chat. Go fucking down and fucking follow you. <laughs> we were talking like about like characters in Smash, especially now that Sora comes out. And I very briefly like talked about like the characters that I've played, the tournaments that I've played in, and like my entire experience with like playing competitively. Competitively. I mean, you, you can call it that, I guess. I played local tournaments, but like it was never like anything big, you know? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But yeah, I used to like do nothing but play Smash in that like back in the days. That's my entire thing. I loved the fucking game to death and I still do to some extent. So yeah, this is the how I fell in love with Smash Bros. Nice. Let me take you back to a time where the only fighting game that I've ever played was Tekken. Tekken is awesome. I love Tekken to death. But yeah, I then watched one of my best friends, uh, J-Mo. He was playing in a, a Danish LAN tournament called NPF. Where there was like a guy <laughs> streaming from the, uh, the LAN. And he was just sitting there like playing against the people that came by. His little booth stand thing. And then he was like fucking fucking them up in Smash. Because it was all very very casual. Most of them are probably like kids that only play Counter-Strike and League of Legends. So they came to like his little stand, his little booth thing, and got their ass whooped. But then like JMO, he fucking like typed to me. He was like, yo, I'm going on the stream now. I was like, damn, I'll fucking watch. And, and at this time, I have not really watched Smash at all. I knew about it, but like, I never really played it. I think I've played Brawl like once or something at a friend's house back in the days. So I had like zero experience with Smash, more or less. I watched this fucking stream. JMO, he goes on. He talks on banter. And then he uh, he plays Ryu against the streamer. His name is Yeon. <laughs> and, he, and Yeon <laughs> picks Marth, I think. But yeah, JMO fucking whoops his ass with Ryu. When I, like, when I was done watching that, I was like, damn, that game looks fucking sick. I was like... JMO, we, 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 we fucking need to play this together. Because at the time, I was making highlight videos from my YouTube channel. And JMO was doing the same thing. I went out. I was just turned 18 or something. I'm 24 now, by the way. Just for comparison's sake. I was just turned 18, more or less. And I went down to Fauna. Epic. Rest in peace, Fauna. And bought my, <laughs> my fucking Nintendo Wii U. I legit went out and fucking bought this thing. Just so I could play Smash. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. I just realized that I still have the copy. So yeah, I get my filthy monkey hands on the video game. I start to play it. I wanted to play Fox. <laughs> my original main was Fox. And I sucked. But yeah, I went in and fucking started playing. I had no footage of this, of course. But let me just say that I got my ass whooped a lot. Fast forward, Cloud comes out as a DLC. And at this time, I'm the biggest Kingdom Hearts fan. Yeah, I'm the OG. <laughs> but... Cloud is not from Kingdom Hearts, he's from Final Fantasy VII, you know. But listen up, buddy. My only experience at the time with Cloud was from fucking <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2 and 1. But mainly 2, because that's the game I played the most. And yeah, at the time, I had fucking played both 1 and 2. I'm not a fake fan. <laughs> but there's like this cool ass scene in, in Kingdom Hearts 2 where you fucking fight against Sephiroth. And Cloud comes in and fucking takes over and yeet. That was like my favorite experience with Cloud. So when Cloud was announced for fucking Smash, I was like, damn, I fucking need this. So I fucking bought for this game, Cloud, and I played nothing but Cloud. <laughs> then something happened. I won some matches. I gotta be honest with you, Cloud is pretty busted. So even though I didn't understand the fucking video game, like I was just, I didn't really understand like the fucking spacing and everything. I used to cross slash a lot because that shit actually did damage. I kind of stopped playing at some point. Uh, yeah, a lot of from the future here. So the video clip you're about to watch is pretty much fucked up. But basically, I'm trying to explain that my Wii U, that the reason I stopped playing was because I couldn't update the Wii U because there was no more space on the Wii U. Nice. These nuts. I afterwards, one day when Smash Ultimate was announced, I think, like, I started playing CSS. <laughs> As I said, when Smash Ultimate was announced, I was so fucking hyped. Especially because I had a Nintendo Switch that I can actually play on at that time. So I was really hyped. I was like, damn, I, this is my fucking time now. I want to get into competitive gaming at the time. Like, this this was my moment. 
I wanted to get into competitive video games again. And don't get me wrong, I've played so much League of Legends and Counter-Strike, it's not even funny. I've spent so much fucking money in those games, I've played it so many hours. But I was tired of like this team aspect thing video games. I wanted to play like one-on-one -on -one fighting games, and I wanted to play them a lot. <sighs> Smash Ultimate comes out, I wanted to play Cloud <laughs> and CSS. And as I said on stream uh, the other day, me and a friend got the game. One of my best friends, man, he got the video game as well. And we practiced it a lot. He was playing Incineroar, and uh, I played Cloud. I think the game was out for like one month or so before we went to our first tournament. I can't remember, like, but I think Valhalla 2 was the first tournament in Denmark when Ultimate came out. That was like the first tournament that I ever watched, and I was so hyped. And from like the exact tournament, Valhalla 2, there was like C5 against Ilift, and like, I still think that clip is hilarious. I have it on my YouTube channel if you want to see it. I don't know how you put those things up here, but I'll put it. So now I was even more hyped. I wanted to play Smash. I wanted to practice. I wanted to go to a fucking tournament. We went to a tournament. It was the first tournament after Valhalla. I think it was called Kef and Smash. I know it like was Kaf and Console. Coffee and Console. Kaf and Console. It was their first tournament. I think the name changed when Dragon took over afterwards with Coffin Smash. I can't remember what it was originally called when the tournament started. But yeah, it was Coffin Consort basically that hosted the tournament. I went there. You maybe think that I will play Cloud in that tournament and uh, I didn't. I played fucking Lucina. And that's weird because I've just said that I practiced Cloud a lot. I think like one week up to the tournament I decided to change my character. That's stupid. Very stupid. Pro tip. Don't do it. <laughs> Stick to one character. I'll, I'll get more into that later. Why I say this. I changed to Lucina for one reason alone. No, two, I think. One of them are very simple. She's a female and I'm a sucker for a cute uh, anime wife. <laughs> and the other is like, she had a very good recovery. Okay, there was three things. She was also way high on the tier list. I am very much against tier whoring. But at the time, I was like, Cloud's recovery sucks. <laughs> Lucina is faster. She's higher in the tier list. And she has a good recovery compared to Cloud. So I decided to change to Lucina instead. It was it was really stupid. Like, insanely stupid. And I should never have changed. I should just uh, stick with Cloud. And I'll tell you why. Even though the tournament went okay, I guess. I think I got like two wins. Oh, yeah, it is. Here it is. So, as I said... I went Lucina with my first tournament ever. I won two matches, and then I lost two as well. I think I won my first, lost my second, won my next, and then I lost the fourth. Yeah, I think I think it's how I went. But as I can see here, I, I, I got seventh place at the tournament. <laughs> That's itchy. Like, don't get me wrong, there weren't that many entries at the tournament, but I still think it's kind of funny looking back. I got seventh place. At my first tournament and I was more hyped than ever. But yeah, we went home and we continued practicing. And now it's time for tournament two. I can't remember what it was called, but it was also like at the time we had like two tournaments going back to back. I can't remember the fucking name of that tournament. I'll, I'll put it somewhere on the screen if I end up remembering what the name was. But we went there. That was my second tournament. I go in, I play against a wolf, I believe, and I lose. I win Lucina, by the way. I lose my first match. I am now on loser's bracket. And that was so fucking depressing. <laughs> it, I was so sad that I lost that. Because now I'm in loser's bracket. I end up going up against my friend, man. He was at the same tournament. He was also in losers now. We ended up against each other. And um, out of nowhere, I pull out the cloud. I took my fucking cloud out of retirement that day. And I whooped his ass. <laughs> I go for like the two next matches, I think. And I fucking take both wins. Three matches in, I think. I can't remember like how many matches I took with Cloud after that. But like when I won that one against the man, I was like, damn, I'm fucking back on him. I take the matches afterwards with Cloud. I go up against a guy called Jay Qua here in Denmark. But like I played against Jay on stream. I got my ass whooped. <laughs> I think he played Meta Knight that day. And like he fucking whooped my ass. <laughs> so but like just the fact that I could turn it around and actually go further into the tournament with Cloud was like, we fucking back, baby. The character that started everything more or less with Smash 4 is also the character that, like, that, that fucking carries me and takes me further now. I think King Funk creates Super Nerd Bros now. And at the same time, that tournament I just talked about, it continued for a couple of tournaments afterwards. But yeah, now we have like Super Nerd Bros and the, the tournament I can't remember the name of. 
and Coffin Console didn't host any more tournaments for the time being. So we had like two locals in Denmark. I went to I went to the first Super Nar Bros ever. I don't think I won any matches in my pool that tournament, but I got to play on stream. That clip still is still on YouTube. I played against a guy called Lackluster. He played Roy. He's originally a Fox main, uh, but he played Roy that one. Like, but like, he played Roy against me. I think he knew that I was like a newer player, so he was like just fucking with me to be honest. And he did like he ended up fucking me in the bathroom. No, but <laughs> he ended up like fucking taking my stocks and like fucking sending me the fuck home. I lost that one pretty hard. But yeah, I got my ass whooped there. And I think for the next couple of Super Nerd Bros Plus, I played those tournaments. I can't remember the fucking name of. I got my ass whooped with Cloud. I, I think I won a couple of matches here and there, but I never really got out of pools. Hold up. Stop everything. <laughs> like this entire video is more or less made. With just me remembering things from the top of my head. So like, I don't get every single detail in, I guess. And that's why like, I jump in here and there, try to correct some of the things. I actually got out of pools once. It's a very, very cool tournament. Uh, and the tournament I keep mentioning that I can't remember the name of is called Battlefield Copenhagen. So the tournament I actually got out of pools was the second Battlefield Copenhagen tournament. I remember those pools, like that pool was insane because I played in the pools. I played against a... My first match was against a guy that went, that went random. <laughs> and like it was a... He took me 3-2, so it was very close, also sad. I got up against a guy called Sloppy Seconds. And I, I, I take him. I take him three and two. It was so close. He played Donkey Kong. I take. I, I took him. I actually won. And then I played against a guy that played Link, and I took him three and zero. Oh. The most funny thing about this Link guy, the most fucking funny thing about you, motherfucker. <laughs> What's this? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But like when we got to Copenhagen Battlefield thingy two, uh, we were there like an hour before, so we could actually practice. And this guy that played Link, he was sitting at the setup alone. I went over to him and was like, yo, you want to fucking play? You want to practice before a tournament? It was like, nah, I'm waiting for a friend, yo. So he was basically just taking up a strap setup. And the most fucking funny thing is I ended up whooping his ass afterwards. So he should have taken the practice. Nice cuck. This is where something happens to Smash. Joker gets fucking announced. And I'm a big Persona fan. Like, I love the games. I don't know if you can see it. What the fuck? There, I have like three figures of Persona. Nice. Very fucking nice. Just because I fucking adore a franchise. I even fucking got Catherine in the steelbook. But yeah, now that Joker is announced, I'm having a fucking character crisis. Something that's very, very detrimental to my career. I played so much Cloud now. Cloud was the character that I played the most. And now I want to play something new. Joker <laughs> comes out and I start to main Joker. And I play Joker a lot. This is also something that I said on the stream, but I don't want to link it. I don't think I will call it hipster tendencies. Joker is a very popular character. He's very high on the tier list and there's a lot of fucking weebs playing the video game. And I wanted to stick out. I was like, I kind of liked that I was like the, the cloud guy. Don't get me wrong, there's probably other players that play cloud, but like at most of the locals I went to, I was always the fucking only cloud. So kind of liked that. And the fact that there were so many jokers, more or less killed the joiner for me. I didn't want to play him because of that, and that's fucking stupid. So yeah, I went over to want to play another character. I played Serious Sword Samus. It, it, like, this shit goes fucking full circle, because CSS was also one of the characters that I played in Smash Wii U. I play CSS a lot. I practice CSS a lot. I went to a tournament again. At this time, we didn't go to all the tournaments anymore, but we go to a tournament, me and Van again. I play CSS at that tournament, and I get my ass served. I think I win one match against a guy, a kid, he played Fox, and it was very, very, like, obvious that he had never touched a Wii controller before. <laughs> so, and, like, that was the only fucking victory I got at the tournament, and that sucks. The next tournament, I go with Joker. I was like, fuck this shit, I want to play Joker. The reason why I even, like, changed over to play CSS was because I think CSS is hot, sexy. She got a big ass. And she's also a rushdown character, just like Joker. So it felt like natural to play her. But now we're with Joker. And I didn't win a single match either. The hopes are low now. I lost a lot of tournaments. We went to, I think we go to one more tournament after that, a couple of months later. I have at the time not really touched the game. And we go to a tournament. I played CSS. I ended up playing against Jaquan on John's stream again. 
going full circle, and he whoops my ass with Joker. <laughs> so I've played against Jay two times on stream, and one time against Lackluster. And I lost that game with, with Zero Suit Samus, and I just stopped, more or less. But why did I stop playing, you may be asking. Was it because I was tired of losing? No, not that. I was at the time living with an ex-girlfriend, and I just had a very hard time like practicing and everything like where we lived. I just had a hard time practicing with the setup I had. My, my switch was in the living room and like, and I was just, it just sucked practicing, especially because of the netcode. I think the netcode was the thing that killed it the most. Then COVID hit Denmark and that kills it. I just stopped. When COVID hit Denmark, I stopped playing because practicing the fucking game online sucks dick. And I think every single player in the world will agree with that. It sucks fucking dick practicing Smash Online. And and like after that, like now and then I always like came back. I still loved watching the streams when like they were streaming from Super Naros. And nowadays like when, when uh, Three Gun and the rest of the Danish boys, they go on Denmark, I always I always sit there and fucking cheer for them. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Denmark. I, I love watching the boys go around Denmark and do shit. Sun, Hope, Three Gun, Mysterio, all the boys. I love when they like go out of Denmark and fucking do shit. I fucking love it. And I always end up missing playing the game. But then I realize I'm a shy ass. <laughs> and that's also one of the reasons why I stopped playing. If you've come this far in the video, I'm, I'm so glad that you have decided to watch me sit here and rant. And I'll tell you a secret. I'm shy as fuck. I'm trying to be as confident as I can. Going to these tournaments has always like been very awkward for me. I've always like been very, very shy. I've been there for every single tournament. There's a reason why I had Van and the boys with me for every single tournament I played in. That was mainly just because I, I was very shy and I didn't want to go to a tournament alone. I'm kind of afraid that I end up like sitting in the fucking corner, just sitting there looking stupid. But I want to change that. Now that Sora's announced, I want to change that. Everything goes full circle. The reason why I played Cloud was because of Kingdom Hearts. And I have not been hyped for a DLC ever since Sephiroth maybe and Joker. So just the fact that I can play Sora now, one of my favorite video game characters ever, besides Dante. I wanted Dante so fucking badly. But like Sora is easily my second choice and like I'm so hyped. I played Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 so fucking much. And I was so hyped when they got on PS4. I didn't own a PS3 at the time so I couldn't play the remakes on there. The HD collections. But I played the ones on the PS4 when they came out there. I was so hyped. <laughs> and I played both of them so fucking much on the PS4. Kingdom Hearts is also one of the franchises that I've made most of my friends with. It's the franchise that started my streaming career. It's the franchise that got me one of my best friends ever. Best. Shout out. And like without Kingdom Hearts, I would never have met one of my best friends ever. I will never have met guys like Sputnik. I will never have met a guy like June. I will never have met a guy like Crystal Crown, OBC, all the Kingdom Hearts boys. That I know from like the speedrunning era. Yeah, I used to speedrun Kingdom Hearts as well. Yeah, XD. I speedrun Birth by Sleep because I was <laughs> I didn't want to practice a three hour fucking speedrun. And without Kingdom Hearts, I would never have met some of my best friends ever. I just love it. I like just fucking love the character. He's so cool. And like his kid in the new game looks fucking sick. So I'm back. I want to fucking play again. Fucking hear me. I'm back, boys. As I said, I'm shy as fuck, but I'll try to get on my confidence zone and actually start to interact with the people in the scene. I can write some stupid shit on my Twitter, but like, like I can sit here being all gangster on the internet, you know? But like, actually going to the tournaments is where I struggle. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. I have no idea like how long this video will be. I thought it would be like fun to talk about the reason why I love this game so much and I will come back to it. I'll probably start streaming Smash Bros on stream as well. And like, if you want to follow me on Twitch, come fucking chat with me. I'm currently playing a lot of like playthroughs of Ratchet & Clank games. I'm also playing Crash Team Racing. I'm trying to get into the speedrun of Crash, so come down and watch, Gamer Boy. <laughs> if you want to support my journey, I want to watch me play, come down and follow me. And uh, thanks for watching. Again, I'm so fucking hyped for the next DLC. And I'll give it my best. Nice cuck. <laughs>